Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. It's the long-awaited makeup and skincare empties, uh, plus miscellaneous, like any of the things that weren't captured in the first two rounds. I know it's taken me forever because I had this stuff, I pulled this stuff out of our empties bag. It, it had emptied the empties bag. It was the last stuff in there. And now the empties bag is like halfway full again before I even did this video. So there's a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to start with these packets and packages. Um, so I got a whole bunch of packages, so I'm just going to tell you what they are. And then if there's anything that was particularly bad or particularly good, I'll, I'll let you know. So this is Dr. Jart Pour Porecting Solution, which is one of those sheet masks. Um, thank you, my love. Uh, Neogen Dermatology milk cream i have not bought any face masks like i am committed to not using them anymore this is how many of them i had from people sending them to me and from me buying them and i'm still not done i still have some left um estee lauder eye mask extra extra special love those um can't see the title on this oh uh three skin um huggies baby wipes because I'm not using the wet ones in the big plastic jars anymore. Um, Neogen Dermatology uh, Aloe Mask. Dr. Jort, Dr. Jart Pore Minimalist. The Sephora Foot Mask, you know, I love those. The wipes that I'm using exclusively now because I love these so much. They're the water wipes. I get them on Amazon. I buy a big box of them. Plus, there's 60 wipes in each package. World's purest baby wipes. 99.9% .9 water with a drop of fruit extract. So they don't aggravate. There's not a bunch of stuff in them. Um, and they're really saturated. Huggies. Huggies. The Ernest Laszlo eye patches. Love these. So expensive, but so good. The Bosha um, Pore Minimizing Mask. Well kept, love those. My Power Bright by Ula Henriksen. Oh, I'm just so rationing those because I really don't think you can get them anywhere anymore. The Sephora Pearl Eye Mask. Oh, this is a fun one. This is uh, incredible. Double Perks Batty Boob Masks. So these were little uh, rainbow masks for my boobs. It's kind of fun, kind of cute. Denise walked in. I had Two rainbows on my boobies. Uh, another one of the Ula Henriksen uh, vitamin C masks. Uh, this is one of those um, cloud masks that come with the little cloud stickers in it. Honey nourishing. This was, I believe Denise got this for me at Indigo. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, Laneige water pocket sheet mask. This is, it takes me forever to go through a package of these, but every now and then I do. These are the Hands Down Ultra nail pads. This is all that I use to remove my nail polish. I never use cotton balls since I found these. It's probably been close to 15 years now. Uh, by Glam Glow, the Star Skin Magic Hour Exfoliating. Uh, oh no, this wasn't Glam Glow. I don't know who this is. Star Skin, I guess. Magic Hour Exfoliating Foot Mask Socks. I said I'd never do it again, but I did. And all the skin peeled off my feet. And it was fabulous, considering right now, I haven't had a pedicure in over a year. Two more of the Baby Wipes. Uh, three more of the Well Kept's. I love this one with the pink uh, leopard. It, it doesn't make a difference for the inside. It just, the packaging is cute. Uh, and a bunch of Incocos, which again, you can go to my Instagram to see my Incocos. I'm coming down to the bottom of those. Once I'm done, I'm done because you can't order from the company directly anymore. And the ones that they have on Ulta, they're just kind of boring. Like they don't come out with the new designs all the time the way they used to. Bunch of um, false lashes. Quo 804. Quo 804. Quo 806, uh, and this is a Japanese lash curler. You know, <laughs> these are the travel ones, and I swear to God, these 
practically bend your lashes. Like your lashes go straight up with these. Meanwhile, I paid a fortune for a Dior lash curler. It barely even, it barely even curls my lashes. Like you can feel it. There's like no tension. There's no tension on it. But it's, it's so pretty. Like it's, it's matte black. Like the whole thing is black and I just, I'm just so bummed. So I had seen someone else with an all black one by Chanel. So I ordered a Chanel curler. It came in. It is got nice tension on it, so it's going to curl, but it's silver. It's not all black like the one that I had seen. It's silver and you can barely see the Chanel on it. Not that that matters, but ladies, you know, it matters. Ladies and gents, because I know I got both of you watching these. Um, some nail polish. I finished off a manicure booster. Uh, this is supposed to be a base and top coat. Um, it's by that same company that um, I used to get that sort of rosy colored polish from. I don't know what they're called here because it's PJ or PT or PF. I don't know. You know what I mean. They, they used to be sold at Sephora, but they don't anymore. And I'm so sad. These were part of... Mariah Carey did a collab with OPI, I don't know, 100 years ago. No, it was probably about, in all honesty, 10, maybe 10 or 11 years ago. And at the same time, they came out with these, because some of hers were in this formula. It's called Liquid Sand. And it's like a glitter, but not really. It looks like sand when it dries, and you don't put a top coat on it. And I bought it in every color, and I have been using it ever since. And this blue one was my favorite. And this year, finally, after 11, 12 years, it is just too thick to keep using. I gotta let them go. But man, I got a run out of them. And I still have some of the other colors that are still working. So, got my money's worth there. Let's see, let's do lip balm next. Went through a lot of those. This is currently my favorite lip balm. It is the Laneige uh, Sleeping Lip Mask, and I like it in all the different colors. I like when the, the limited edition ones, this was a limited edition one, and it is called Sweet Candy. And I mean, how could I not have loved it? Um, and I've got one going right now that was limited edition from last summer that is Apple Lime. You can't get this one anymore, but ooh. Oh, it smells good and like the balm is the same color as the jar so anyway I, what I love too is look at the size of that jar that is a lot of lip balm and I absolutely love it um, one Blistex Lip Medics one Carmex two Body Shop Lip Butters one in Mango and one in Strawberry Anybody else out there who uses the Body Shop Lip Butters, I don't know if you're noticing this. So my Mango, these were both new. These weren't sitting in my stash forever. My Mango was perfect, smooth, lovely. My Strawberry had all these little like white lumps in it. Um, but it was brand new and I, I had just gotten it in. I used it, but, and it smelled fine. Oh, even in the empty carton, it smells so good. It smells like my early 20s. Oh, the Morello Cherry, which they don't make anymore, used to come in a glass, little glass pot. So good. So anyway, I checked another strawberry that I had, and sure enough, it had the little white bumps too. Just wondering if any of you have experienced that and if you know what it is. And speaking of do you know, of all things, I found out through Denise, through a friend of Denise's this weekend, Clarisonic went under. I can no longer buy heads for my Clarisonic. I'm freaking out. I have two of them. I bought the Petty one as well as the one for my face. So anyway, I just somebody should get on that and manufacture those heads because I cannot believe. At least I have the massage head, which technically you don't really have to ever change because I can clean it. But anyway, I was a little bummed with that. Oops. Um, I finished up a Vaseline lip therapy. This is basically like a rose colored Vaseline based lip balm. One mint chapstick. One Blistex five star lip protection. Oh, I really like this one. It's like a traditional lipsal tube, but it's all black and it's Bobbi Brown. 
and it was a really nice lip balm. An old standard, the Bite Agave Lip Mask, which I love. I won't buy this again. This is the Fresh Sugar. I think this was the second time I had it. It's the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. It's just an extra step. I really don't need a serum and then a lip balm. Um, I'm just good with a scrub and a lip balm. So I used it up, but I, I won't get that again. And the fanciest lip balm, Pat McGrath. Look at that. Sadly, this is not refillable. I have a really fancy lip balm by Charlotte Tilbury that you can refill. Um, but yeah, I dug everything out of that. But it's just like a nice no color, just a, a lip balm, but in this gorgeous tube. Uh, I've got some ordinary stuff that I finished off. This is the 100% organic virgin chia seed oil. Actually, Denise used that one on her face. This is the Retinol 1%, which I use at night. And this is the Buffet Serum. Denise used that one too. That was just a really good all-around serum. I know sometimes you guys ask about, like, are there any things that you always go back to? Well, Denise has found something she absolutely loves, because I've got three jars of it to show you. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. And um, this is a fairly new line. I think it came out about a year ago, a year and a half. Oh, I guess. It's like COVID year didn't happen. So I guess technically it's two years ago. Um, but Denise has super dry skin and she absolutely loves it. Not just the face, but she uses the body one as well. And so yeah, she really, really loves these, obviously. Denise also used this. It is a Kiehl's uh, cream contour for eyes. Uh, and she liked it. These we keep buying over and over again. We are buying these instead of the expensive Peter Thomas Roth ones. We buy these on Amazon. They're the eye patches. We keep them in our fridge. This one is the P.T. Kuhn Collagen Eye Mask and this is Rejuvenating Eye Gels. Just keep them in the fridge and they're nice and cold and in the morning when we're having our coffee we tend to put them on. Denise wears them just about every day. Three beauty blenders. So I think one of them had fallen into, like just didn't make it in the last round, but had been in there a while because I changed my beauty blender out every three months. Um, so yeah, it was a yellow one, a purple, and then the original pink. Oh, shit. Well, there goes my recycling. Um... Denise's favorite serum right now, which is the Body Shop's Drops of Youth, and you can buy it in this big monster bottle or the original bottle. I'm having a hard time right now. The last time I tried to make an order on the Body Shop, it froze at checkout. So I went on chat to chat with them about it, and they told me to clear my cookies, which I didn't realize what that did, clearing your cookies. So like I had to re-sign into every all my websites. Um, that I go to but that still didn't work so I have to get online with them because I can't place an order and she's getting low on this and what this is now her favorite this is her favorite eye cream which is the drops of youth eye cream and the drops of youth serum both from the body shop so I'm gonna get on chat with them today and find out what's the what uh, Denise also used this oil which is an oil I love too but I always tend to give it to her I buy it for me and then she's low on face oil, and I'm like, oh, here, you can take this. It's the Herbivore Emerald um, Hemp hemp Seed. And why don't I just put my glasses on instead of pretending like I can see that. There we go. Oh, my glasses are dirty. Uh, Herbivore Emerald Hemp Seed and Adaptogens Deep Moisture Glow Oil. It's a really nice face oil. This was a little tester I got on Sephora of a juice that I love, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. An oldie but a goodie. And Denise used this fresh uh, sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash. I don't know if this is in their regular line or not. Um, it came out a couple of summers ago. I'll have to go on and check. Um, Function of Beauty. Remember I showed you my Function of Beauty shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, the whole bit. Well, they also have skincare, 
and the bottles are beautiful and they're like I think I can't tell if they're plastic or glass it's like really hard plastic if it's if it's not glass um, and they're ombreish purple to pink and then kind of light pink to dark pink this was the face wash it says function of candy and this was the face lotion again really nice but like kind of gimmicky I think uh, this is a big part of my beauty routine not this particular brand this is the beauty um, but just eye whitening drops I pretty much if I'm gonna be on camera uh, if I'm doing television or doing this I usually put either some visine or this stuff this stuff kind of stings it, I think this is originally from Japan but let me tell you this makes your eyes super white but I always worry a little bit about like what exactly is it that's making them so white um, but yeah I always have that in my in my bag of tricks now I got a whole bunch of these little Caudalie serums and that's just because there was a Sephora thing where they give you seven days worth of this serum which is put the glasses on it's the Caudalie Reversitrol lift serum which is nice a really nice serum All right, we finished off this uh, the ordinary squalene cleanser which is just a really nice cleanser Denise I think Denise used this one uh, the Ordinary got bought, eh? Um, Estee Lauder bought them. So we'll see how that goes because when Estee Lauder bought Bobby Brown, things started getting problematic with Bobby Brown. So we'll see. This is the Glossier Milky Oil Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. So it's one of those biphase eye makeup removers. The bottle is so pretty. I love it. Not as good as the Chanel or Lancome biphase eye makeup remover good but not as good oh I had missed a lip balm there's another lip balm this is the EOS but instead of the round it's an actual EOS stick I uh, used up one of these this is the Oliver and June cuticle cream and it comes with it's like a you know the sponge on top and you just crank it to get the stuff to come out it's I love it it's beautiful but they want like I think it's 30 33 American dollars for that where you can get the body shop version of this for under 10 or maybe right at the $10 mark so you know use this I use this facial cleanser it's the Saturday skin make a clean break uh, it's like a thick cream it was okay I liked it but I didn't love it I guess is how I would put it I finished off a tiny Mario Badescu skin spray. I love it. I don't use this as a makeup setter though. I use it as like in between my serum and my lotion. I always give myself a spray so that I put my lotion on damp skin. I got a bunch of these testers and I really like them. It's basically tinted moisturizer by Glam Glow. I call it Glow Starter. Illuminating moisturizer. I just like to put it on on days where I'm not wearing makeup. So it gives you a little bit of like, you know, evens your tone out a slight bit. If you're older like me, you tend to have more spots. It's a little harder to do that. And I wanted to try this because I saw somebody on YouTube yakking on about it. It's the Garnier Micellar Water, but with the oil added for to make like for waterproof eye makeup remover. No, <laughs> no, it really did not do the trick at all. There's two of these, but the other one hit the ground somewhere. This is the Garnier Micellar Water, just the regular Micellar Water for the face. These two little ones came in that lovely gift that M. Gems sent us. Oh, and anytime I can get a tester of this gold water, which is the SK2 Essence. So expensive, but so fabulous. And a small tester of the Laneige water sleeping mask i love this in fact i have the lavender one of this by the bed right now which i wear a couple nights a week to bed and this is the caudalie reversitrol lift face cream pretty good size tester and i really enjoyed that i've used this on and off over the years it is the sally hansen cute what do they call it cuticle or salon once again, let's put the glasses on. Stop pretending. Uh, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Cuticle Eraser and Balm. So when you see it in the store, it's like got a white and green swirl. Um, and it's just like a really thick balm that you put on your cuticles. And I keep it by the bed for at night. 
two pens. This is uh, one that we refilled and uh, this is the Pentel Energel liquid, liquid Gel Ink in Purple Ink. Great pen, bullet, bullet tip. And the final stuff is the makeup stuff which is quite honestly mostly mascara. So okay first of all here I've got a MAC sponge. I just kept it in the package because um, it comes from MAC. I get two sponges at a time. Let me open it. So it's like this and I keep them in my MAC Studio Fix. So when I'm, I'm going to be on television or camera I put Kat Von D's foundation, liquid foundation and then I do a, a cover of the Studio Fix and it always comes with a sponge. I wash the sponge it comes with two, three times. Then I discard it, put a new sponge in, wash it two or three times, discard it. So this is the end of this package and sponge. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. This is the Traceless Perfecting Foundation SPF 15 by Tom Ford. You know I love Tom Ford um, and if you have really even toned skin without a lot of age spots you will like this but not enough coverage for me as a foundation and for the price of it like I can't use it as a tinted moisturizer I can't pay like I don't know I think this is close to like maybe even be close to 100 bucks so you know this is not empty but it went out of date it is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30 um 20 percent zinc oxide so it's basically a tinted facial spf and um i like it except it it's really messy like it uh even like after hours after you put it on if you turn your head and your face touches your t-shirt and you gotta wait it'll you'll see all beige all over your t-shirt so um i dig it but i find it really messy i wish it sank in more and didn't rub off so easy um, but I think the bottle is really cool and it just sadly there's still a lot in there but it went off and once the SPS not working anymore what's the point this is the Marc Jacobs eye primer um, I used that over whew, must have been almost three years um, it's a nice evening one so it's not clear it actually evens out your skin tone it's got a bit of a tint to it good staying power liked it you saw a couple of these before. This is the Oleo e Oso from Portland, Oregon. They're the bombs, face bombs that are you can use on your lips or your cheeks. Uh, and this one was, was the number zero, which is just the clear. And this one, the number two, which was a bit of a hot pink. And in terms of cream stuff, um, I've got two RMS here, which I love RMS. The older I get, the more cream I'm using. This was the Eye Polish in Inspire. And this was the Eye Polish in Lucky. So they make like cream bronzer, cream highlighter, cream eyeshadow. I just, I love it all. Oh, I was sad with this. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I don't know if it got accidentally opened or what, but it completely dried out on me. Um, and it looks like there's still stuff in it, but it's just completely dry. So bummer. Bummer on that. Now, you know I love these. Um, these are those Smashbox, Smashbox eye pencils that I don't know if they use anymore. They're the ever sharp ones that every time you put the lid on, it sharpens the tip. And this one was a lip pencil in the color Figgy. I'm, I'm slowly, I think I only have one of these left. I had all of them at one point, but they're so good and it's too bad. I, I don't see them anywhere. Maybe they are still available, but I have not seen them anywhere. I think I've got one eyebrow product and then the rest of it's mascara. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylus Boost and Set. So it's just a brow gel. It's got a great little fine brush on it that I really liked. Uh, it was fine. Did the trick. Now, all of this is mascara. It's a lot of them testers. So as I told you, I'm kind of using I'm a, a, tester, a tester a week just to try to get through my stash because some of them are drying out so much. 
And these, all these testers, I don't buy them like that. They just, they come in sets or I get them with gift with purchase. You know how it is. So here we go. So I've got two at two different sizes of the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. You probably have all seen, oh, see, see how that's all gross? That's because that kind of just like completely dried in the tube. I don't even think I ended up being able to use that one. But yeah, there's where the, that's what the, the wand usually looks like. It's got that hourglass wand. Super black, but super clumpy. So if you don't like clumpy, you may not like it. This is the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. It's got the curved wand. And this one is just the Maybelline, the Colossal. So the Colossal is the plain yellow. And then the Volume Express has that leopard print on it. I actually like the original one better. It's got the straight wand, a nice big fat wand. Uh, and it really defined my lashes quite well, particularly for a drugstore. I've got a roller lash by Benefit. It's got that short bristled, slightly curved wand. It's all right. The mascara I wish I loved and I absolutely hate. It's the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. The wand is way too fat for somebody with small eyes. I always end up getting it on my face. It just, it doesn't work for me and I want it to so bad because I love Tom Ford so much. It's got a Marc Jacobs. This one I do love. This is the um, Velvet Noir um, Mascara. And it's just like black velvet. It's so nice. So nice. Really loved it. I've got a Dior Show, which is one of my favorite mascaras. And this is just the, the original Dior Show, like not, none of the flankers. Look at the size of that brush. Nice and thin here, nice and full at the back end. That's the way I like them. This is another really great mascara. It's by uh, Milk Makeup and it's their Kush mascara. I find I get a lot of definition um, without false lashes with this. Another Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious. I love the, the matte black tube. And it's got one of those Christmas tree shaped wands. It was nice, but I like that colossal one better, that plain yellow colossal. This is Lancome's Hypnos Drama. I'm showing you all the tester size ones first. Nice full size wand. There isn't a Lancome mascara that I don't love, so. This was the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It was all right. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home to mom about. This is another one that I find all right. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. This was like free gift at Sephora for a long time. I think I got about six tubes of it. Um, hmm. Okay. This is a nice one. First of all, I like the red tube. And it is the NARS Climax Mascara. Nice big wand. Good definition. Nice thick. The Anastasia Mascara was okay. Not as much as, I like the Ombre Tube. I don't like the mascara as much as I love her eye gel. Eye gel, eyebrow gel, you know what I mean. This is the Monsieur Big by Lancome, but in the waterproof formula. And oh my God, I don't recommend it. Only because if you've ever tried the regular Monsieur, uh, Monsieur Big, it's hard enough to get off the waterproof. Woo, you gotta do a lot of rubbing and tugging to get rid of that. And the end of the tester ones, this is the Clarins Supra Volume Mascara. And this, it doesn't look like much. I loved it. I used this one for two weeks because it was so nice. I just didn't want to part with a really nice mascara. I had never tried a Clarins mascara before. <coughs> and I got two full size tubes. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara with that kind of BDSM ball at the end, I always call it, because it looks like an old school mace. Nice mascara. And I picked this up because it was in the Allure, I can't remember if it was Allure or if it was in style. It was one of the Best of Beauty episodes and it's the Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. 
So I wanted to give it a try. It, it, I liked it a lot. But I'm not sure I would have named it the best. Like I wouldn't have put it ahead Mark Jacobs. I wouldn't have put it ahead of um, any of the Lancomes. It was good. I wouldn't have put it ahead of Dior Show. I wouldn't have put it ahead of Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. So, But I'm glad I tried it. I can say I've tried it. And that brings us to the end of a very long-winded empties. Allow me to redo. I feel like I've, I've talked my lipstick off. I, I'm wearing the coral nails today, so I thought I would use this Chanel Tinted Balm. I'll give you the color because I love the tube. And it is officially Rouge Coco Flash in 60 Beat. B-E-A-T. So, if you stuck around to the end, thank you for doing so. Again, I know this was a long time coming. Um, it, it's just been crazy. Like, I have knock wood. I'm so thankful and appreciative. We have been flat out, full out busy. Um, and I'm happy to report I'm finally getting my vaccine. After months and months of trying to get an appointment, um, it was actually a PR person on the social that was able to get me in. So I'm going on June 20th. And then again on September 10th, I think it is, for the second shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's going to get taken care of. I have booked my first in-person gig. It's for November in Vancouver. So fingers crossed, if we don't go into another lockdown, I will actually venture out of this apartment, which will be so fabulous. And by then I will have both shots on board, so I'll feel safe doing so. Um, yeah, and I've been doing the social a lot and getting just a lot of gigs, but all of it happening from the corner of my bedroom here. So please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Let me know about some of your favorites in the comments down below or just tell me how you're doing. When we're not vlogging, I feel like I'm separated from y'all, so I like to hear from you in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you share it if you liked it and subscribe. See ya.